Yeah, it's a mouthful. Let's just call it the L2 from now on to save space. Yes, the tank is bigger, one point for the Sky Captain. It holds 1.43 gallons more than the standard, to be exact. I've ridden a couple thousand miles on the standard Africa Twin and if you rode 50 miles from a gas station, you thought twice before passing the next one on some of the remote stretches of roads out west. That's why Honda built this bike the way they did. To be a premium, loaded up, long distance adventure machine. Honda will still offer the standard CRF 1000 L1 Africa Twin, which also gets some updates, but not all. Both get the updated dashboards with rider modes, ride by wire throttle, yet no cruise control for either model, face palm moment, a lighter lithium ion battery, 5.1 pounds lighter, wider footbags with stronger steel mounts, the new larger, no volume given, airbox, lighter counterbalancers, and a revised exhaust that's said to boost mid-range. Additional upgrades on the L2 take it to 9 out of 10 in terms of being adventure ready in stock form. All these updates put me well ahead in the points against Sky Captain Unbar, 